What's going on, everybody? It's your boy. Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. <coughs> I'm very sick, so if I sound nasally, that's why. It's also kind of why I haven't, I haven't been making videos. And welcome or welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, Fabled Legacy updated and the map got completely changed. And I'm not gonna lie, it does look pretty, but it is, it's, it's massive, like massive. It's so big that they had to increase the movement speed just so you could walk around. Oh, my legs are on fire. <laughs> They've also increased the drop rates of items and so forth. The developers are keeping me hostage. Please help me. They're forcing me to make this noob to God thing. No, I'm just kidding. Last video, you guys managed to get to a thousand likes which was the like goal to start a noob to godly on fabled legacy i'm still having a blast playing this game i've been having a lot of uh roblox issues you guys want to see something amazing leo look at this yo did you see how bad that was look uh, that's not this is not me editing it look it's it's glitched yeah i've been dealing with that issue all week and i just figured out that it was it was my mouse anyways today we're gonna start a new to godly with the new improved assumption it's been been a couple years since we've actually started one of these ah oh, man the fun times of uh, not assumption i am the real assumption and it puts a tear in my eye. Speaking of which, uh, which which account should we use? Should we use the not assumption or I am the real assumption account? I mean, you guys can't physically tell me right now because, well, this is a video. <laughs> I get to pick. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, I'm back. So I've decided to go with I am the real assumption because, I mean, I'm not lying. I am the real assumption. Yo, my guy looking a little. Yo, come on, man. Let's 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 get a face. Yeah, there we go. Actually, it's kind of creepy looking. Let's let's yeah, let's just let's just go with the noob face. So, welcome to the first episode of Noob to Godly, where we're going to start out as a noob and end up as godly. I'm practically a pro now at this. This is like my third time doing this, so. Uh, I'm I'm ready and before we get into anything. I do have some rules set for right now I must go through this entire series completely solo. There's absolutely zero trading I will not spend a single robux in this entire series and of course I shall bring you guys along now If you guys have any challenges and or other rules that you would like added throughout the series Make sure to leave it down in the comments below I will make sure that I read every single comment on the series well as much as I can and quickly before we get the video started i would really appreciate it if you like the video as well subscribe to the channel if you guys are new it would seriously mean the world to me and we're pushing for that hundred thousand subscribers and as soon as we hit it you know i won't be doing this section anymore in my videos now with that all out of the way let's get started oh okay this is the ultimate question now for my very first noob to godly i went with mage and then on my second season we went with warrior now uh, if you guys know me <laughs> i'm a warrior fanatic and something i really like about this game is i would say mages are a lot better for like mobs and warriors in this game are really good against bosses reason being is that your m1 still scales while you're playing this game so you could just do more damage to a single target rather than to like a bunch which mage is usually good for i, I really like the balance in this game and i mean we're not gonna play guardian because they they just they don't do any damage so you know that's that's kind of useless since this is my video and my rules uh i'm gonna start with warrior because uh i well i don't really have a reason i i just really like warrior hey look at the wooden sword it's like i found it in my backyard let's get our weekly and daily quest as well you know free gems i don't really think i'm going to be buying any cosmetics much on this account but you never know now this is also the new daily reward area um i haven't actually used this yet even on my main account and we're gonna wait to use this just so I can level up and, and get better rewards out of it. So currently my M1s are doing 56 damage and my Q is doing 457 damage, which actually kind of seems like a lot. Now let's start our fabled legacy. We're gonna go raid a raided village. Uh, 
how that makes any sense. I don't really know. We will need to be level five to get to the next difficulty. So let's start on normal. And we're looking for the farmer's warrior set. I'll see you on the other side. Ah. <sighs> ah. The noob fresh air. Finally get to record my process again. It's been, it just feels like it's been forever since I've done this. I really hope you guys enjoy this series. Um, let's, let's get her going. We got bandit warriors in front of us. 1000 health. Easy peasy. It's pretty much two spells. We're going to use the lightning, even though it's going to do half the damage of our stabby stab. Now, uh, these guys give me a little bit of PTSD. Even, even their names give me a bit of PTSD. Ow. Yeah. Get out of here, dude. And here is the very first boss, Bandit Joe. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? Cat Joe. This guy's pattern is super easy. We got this star pattern and then, uh, and then this little circle. That's it. Easy peasy, bro. Get out of my game. Oh, it just clicked. I don't know why I didn't think about this. We also need boss names, okay? We do this in every single series that we do. I need boss names, all right? We need we need a boss name for Bandit Joe. And we also need a boss name for the final boss. I actually kind of forget his name. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. It's been a while since I've been on this dungeon. Uh, I've been grinding Sunken Fortress for a while. I can tell you his name in, in, a, in a little bit. We're gonna absolutely breeze through this because I'm a master at dungeon games. Come on. This is easy peasy. Just gather everybody into the middle. Got a bing, bada boom. I am going to really need to upgrade my M1. For those who don't know, your M1 scales for what spells you have. So the higher rarity spell you have, the more damage your M1 is going to do. Just thought I'd throw that out there. I know some people probably don't know that. All right, let's just gather up all the warriors here. Get them out of the way first. Look at them run. Look at them scatter. You're scared. Now, what were you guys even raiding? Now that I think about it, there's not even like, there's nothing even in these houses. And then they stand here. I think that's the most confusing part. These guys are raiding. Oh, level up. These guys are raiding the whole village and then they're not even leaving. They're just waiting here. And then they see this little noob guy murder everybody and they still stand here. Do you guys not know I am this chosen one? Don't you know that I am the noob that's going to be godly? Listen here, man. I'm going to take all your damage. Yep. I don't even care. Yeah, that's what you get. Oh, Bandit Leader. That was his name. All right, Bandit Leader. Let's go, homie. I'm I'm really going to need you to uh, give me something good right off the bat. Make my life significantly easier. Boom! I hit him with lightning. <laughs> I'm actually Thor. Ah. Ah. All right, watch this. Whoa! Ooh, and we got blade ignition. I'm actually okay with that because that is a warrior spell. And we're going to use that glorious retry button. So let's equip blade ignition because we don't really want um, shock anymore. It doesn't do as much damage. Oh, and uh, make sure to increase my stat point. Yes, sir. Now, I actually don't know what I want my goals to be on each one of these episodes. Um, like, I don't know if I should reach like a certain level if we should reach a certain dungeon each episode i'm not too sure just yet we'll kind of just record and then and, and see where it ends up oh yeah we are shredding now look at this easy and i know a lot of people were commenting in my last video uh saying that i should probably wait till there's more dungeons into this game now i will agree with you to an extent um however i want to use this series kind of as a like update esque video source i don't even know what i'm trying to say right now pretty much what i'm trying to say is i want to enjoy this series as the game progresses and updates i already know in this video i'm gonna get a lot of comments on uh, some ideas and stuff so please make sure to let me know down below i want to make this uh series as fun as possible boom level three and i want to do this series solo just because i enjoy the challenge of uh trying to complete everything on your own and trying to progress on your own without any help uh oh i don't know why i i ran in so early but whatever let's kill the bandit leader hey we got a serrated blade we needed that we needed that oh i started it no equip the weapon there we go there we go okay we went from 10 power to 24 power we also got to increase our physical here why does this look weird on the noob this looks this looks so strange on the noob character. I don't know why. It just kind of looks uncanny. Well, we should be one cycling now. Hey, bro, I'm at already godly. Who am I kidding? Can I one cycle you? Aw, no, pretty close though. That was a lot of damage. Dun 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 dun. 
I want to be able to kill these guys in one skill. Ooh, that was pretty close. We just need like one more piece of gear, like an armor piece. That would do it. We could definitely one cycle if we get another ignition. But uh, you already know that my luck is terrible in all of these games. So, I mean, I'm going to pray to the dungeon gods. But usually that leads to even worse loot, which is pretty, pretty upsetting. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have any struggles much in this dungeon. Sunken Fortress is probably going to be once we start getting a little bit more uh, challenging mobs and bosses. I will say Raided Village is quite an easy dungeon, even in the chaos mode. I'm just going to run straight in. I don't even care about your damage, dude. You're going to level me up. I'm just going to heal. Boom. <gasps> yes, it was warrior. <sighs> it's kind of hard to tell what kind of leggings they are because, I mean, they're like farmer clothes. Hey, there we go. We got like bell bottom pants on. <laughs> now I'm looking fly. Honestly, they kind of look really uncomfortable and sweaty. It's probably so hot out and you're going to wear these baggy pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can we one shot now? Oh. <gasps> Let's go! Bro, even stab one shots. Oh, and I haven't even increased my stat points. <laughs> All right, Bandit Joe. It's just me and you. Come on, one cycle, one cycle. Yes! We can one cycle. I mean, we got one more level till we got the next difficulty. So, uh, one cycling is not going to be a thing anymore. But, hey, we can one cycle right now because I'm, I'm that cool. Does that, does that make me cool? All right, we are on the final boss. I don't think we're going to uh, level up, so we are going to have to do at least one more run. But hey, I'm not complaining. Look at this. Bam! And we got a blade ignition. That's actually sick. Oh, maybe my luck's not that bad. Look at this. You wouldn't even tell it there was two blades of fire. I'm that quick. Anyways, let's use our new profound powers to go slaughter all of these bandits for the 18th time. Why do you guys keep coming back here, man? I keep coming back too, I guess. So I guess it's kind of hypocritical for me to say that. But hey, they keep coming back and giving me free stuff. It's <laughs> That's on them, man. Boom. Level five. We can now do the next that's a W. But uh, we got to quickly get rid of all of these guys. Come on. Get out of here. And classical arc mages, please. Yeah. Like you could do anything to me. Yo, honestly, I kind of love how quick this spell is. I mean, it doesn't have long range. Warrior does not have uh, long range abilities most of the time. Hey, the first mage item, pretty much. I I'm honestly, I'm not complaining. Um, let's also hit return. Uh oh, wait, we're going to be in a public lobby. Uh, let's let's hide in the shadows. <laughs> I don't want anybody knowing who I am. Let's hide behind this big tree. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, yo. I'm a mountain goat? Keep going, keep going. Yo, I'm about to discover some lost secret or something. Yo, secret swimming pool? I keep going. <laughs> let's keep going. Yo, this is more exciting than the dungeon. No, I'm just kidding. But this map is absolutely massive, dude. And we got like the, the elder tree whatever the tree thing is from like avatar you know what i'm talking about yo no way are we gonna be able to get out of the map <laughs> uh that just looks like a, a dark abyss of nothing so let's go in it Whee! uh i don't know if i'm supposed to be out here but so secretly we're actually on a floating rock now uh what if i Um, <laughs> well, let's, uh, not do that again. All right, we're going to go quickly get the daily rewards just because we're now technically in expert mode and I would like to get some more armor pieces. Let's just hope we get something good here. <gasps> we got a bandit axe and bandit. Yes. I mean, I'm happy with that. I'm honestly, I'm happy with that. We got better leggings, which is literally three times better than one we have now. Also three times better weapon. Oh yeah. Now I can chop down some trees. Starting with the big tree. So expert mode, we can now get a bandit stuff, bandit warrior, and we also want the head harvest. This is the skill we really, really want. I mean, obviously getting a legendary would be uh, amazing and kind of out of this world, but that's never going to happen with me. Let's be honest. And because I'm feeling pretty confident, uh, let's, let's do one life, one extra loot drop, AKA hardcore mode. Hey, may maybe then we'll get a legendary and 
and uh, and we're here. And it's slightly later in the day. Look at that. Look at that. The sun used to be over there, if you remember. And you're also going to notice that there's a little bit more things on fire. I love the details in this game. We also finally actually got a hardcore icon. It uh, took them quite a long time to actually add that into the game, which is uh, a little funny. Oh, we could still... What? Yo, we could still one cycle. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess we did get the upgrade from uh, Daily Reward. Holy, Bandit Joe now has 12.5k health. Still not worried though, because your mechanics haven't changed yet, making you still really, really easy of a boss. Boom. Not even worried. 99 out of 101. Yo, literally, boom, I level up. Easiest level of my life. Come here, bandits. Gather up so I can kill you all. Ooh, ooh, I'm taking unnecessary damage. Oh, 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 chill. All right, bandit leader. At least that's your name for right now. It's time for you to die. Bada bing, bada boom, and he's dead. Oh, really? We got two mage items? I guess that's free money, though. Now, I should mention that it's level 15 for the next difficulty, which is quite a big jump uh, rather than five levels, like from level uh, one to five. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, but yeah, so it's quite a big jump from like one to five and then it's now five to 15. It is the same way in uh, Sunken Fortress as well. So it goes five levels to 10 levels uh, for each difficulty. Interesting concept. You normally don't see that, but uh, hey, it just means a little bit more grinding we gotta do. And Bandit Joe, you're, you're okay with that, right? Don't you like getting beat up by me? No. I think he likes getting beat up by me. You may notice that I'm also not upgrading any of the items that I'm getting. And that's just because we're going to be flying through these levels right now, especially in the early game. So a lot of the items that I'm getting um, and using, I'm probably going to be replacing very, very quickly. So we're going to avoid upgrading and we're just going to save, save, save. Something I cannot do in real life. Yeah, my, ba my bank don't really like me. This is going to be pretty much the only section that I might lose some health. Yep, there goes. Oh, ow. Dude, chill. Boom. Ooh, and a level up. Let's go. Increase my stats. Yeah, teleport to me. Teleport to me and you're dead. Oh, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, barbed pitchfork. I think the axe is actually better. Yeah, our uh, our bandit axe is better than the pitchfork. So, uh, you know, we're just going to sell it later on when we can. And, uh... <laughs> move on with our lives hey if you've made it this long into the video i just want to say i appreciate you with all my heart and you know what hopefully you're joining me on this journey maybe you'll restart or uh maybe you're still brand new to fabled legacy and uh you can join me along the journey of becoming godly i'll be honest i've been doing this for a couple years and i i, <laughs> I still don't really know what godly means but hey we're gonna reach it i got a good feeling in me i got a good feeling in me we're gonna get a good drop here come on bandit leader I know you got it in you. Give me something good. Give me something good. Come on. It's my legacy to get something good. <gasps> oh, are you kidding me? We got guardian legs. Bruh. Hey, yo, watch this speed run. Bam. Boop. Bop. Tang. Wa-bang. Chicken wang. Ting. Bing. Man, we get in nothing. It seems, you know, if I, if I don't talk while I'm... While I'm doing the dungeon, my luck isn't as good. So, you know, we were going to chat and talk this entire time. Show you the process of this entire dungeon. Sort of. Not really. Because, like, I mean, you probably don't want to see me walking. Like, all the way up here. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. You know, I'm just going to leave it in right now. Me walking all the way up this hill. Uh-huh. Yep. Hey, less editing for me. I am not going to lie. I don't feel good today, but uh, I really wanted to record and the update happened. So like, I don't want to be late to everything. Nobody likes to be late. Well, I guess, I guess some people do. I was really late for school. I'll be honest. I would like, all right, hear me out. I used to go to high school. All right. And in my final years, like my senior year, every single time I woke up, I used to flip a coin and if it was heads, I would, I would leave and go to a coffee shop quote unquote coffee shop it's like a coffee donut place and i used to go there instead if i hit heads and i would wait until like lunchtime to go back into school because uh those were the classes i actually enjoyed <laughs> i'm pretty sure like in the morning it was like math or um i don't know english maybe and uh i would i would just skip because 
you know, I hit heads on my coin. I highly advise you do not do that <laughs> if you go to school. <coughs> I just I just remember it pretty vividly. I used to also be very slow waking up and take like very long showers. So I'd be super late to school just so I could miss out on my first two classes. <sighs> good old times. All right, band of leader. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me something good here. Yes. Oh, of course. See, I told you. All I had to do was talk the entire dungeon and I would have got something good. Let's actually return to the massive lobby and let's take a look at all of the gear that we have obtained. So this is our load of what we got. All of this is kind of complete garbage other than the head harvester. So we're going to equip that. Uh, we don't want any of these items. They're all uh, pretty poopy and mage worthy. And as you can tell, uh, I don't really look like a mage. So we're going to use the new cell area. Uh, I haven't used, used this area either. This is like a nice like cabana. I don't even know. Like a, like a resort cabana you would see. Anyways, don't know why they want a bunch of weapons and stuff, but I'll sell it to them. <laughs> I like money. I think everybody else likes money so sell everything it's also tradition to keep all of your starter items so we're gonna keep all of them uh, maybe we can get rid of the blade ignition actually yeah I don't think I'm gonna be using it again so let's sell that so we're actually now at 4.2 K gold and just because I don't do it often let's let's actually upgrade these items and, and see how much damage we can get done so 2400 to completely upgrade the bandit axe so that goes pretty much half our money and this one is 1800 a lot cheaper actually that's exactly how much money we have so we are about to go flat broke from doing this but I don't even care. Yeah, exactly zero. <laughs> That's kind of extremely convenient. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, I don't want to... We'll leave those dummies alone. Let's go to the left dummies over here. Let's go see my homie, Gerald. Yeah, this is Gerald right here. What's up, Gerald? So our left click now does 335 damage. I think it was like 50 when we started. And Blade Ignition does 2.6 damage. And Head Harvester hits five times for about 552 damage. If we get that trusty calculator, 552 damage times five is 2,700 damage. So we're actually doing like, what, 5,000 damage? right now and we don't even have any sets or anything that's actually a really good amount of damage and it's one step closer to being godly anyways i think i'm gonna leave episode one off here i know we didn't get too far into the dungeons but again i don't want to get too too ahead of myself and uh only have like a couple videos not even um to release i really want to do chaos for next video and almost probably reach sunken and i just wanted to get everybody introduced and back into you know i guess the whole series and uh i guess my channel because it's been quite a long time since i've been committed to something and that i put my uh my efforts into so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that you guys enjoyed again like subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace out girl scout